Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Fagan Miller podcast. This evening, the first, the first again, the rebrand of the sports biz. But ladies and gentlemen, Fagan Miller podcast, as it was said, did you ever think that sports and business would be spoken about on the same platform? I don't think so. And tonight, as we uh, uh, restart, I am on my ace in studio, which is great because I have to share who is Fagan Muller actually. Why would you change the name, rebrand to your name? Uh, I think I sent it out to a few of my uh, esteemed colleagues and I said, uh, your name is as good as fine perfume. Something like that was the quote that I was given from, the, I think it was a biblical quote. I know it was from Tyron. Shout out to Tyron. Tyron's one of my students. We'll get to him. Um, but yeah, it's me on my ace. For everybody out there, please share some comments. I know you're waiting to, to chirp me as you chirp me. And I caught you with the, I hope you enjoy the intro song. Well done to Nantel. Back in the game, scratching there. I got an intro made by DJ Mad Fingers. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, I think the first thing to share is my bio. Um, very little people have a bio. Um, so let's go into the bio and also before my phone die. So I'm going to read my bio to you. Then we're going to discuss and dissect all this nonsense that went on here. And then now I got to this platform and then just sharing the vision of where we're going to take this. Um, shout out to these two guys in the studio also. They're just chilling there. They came to come download the episode that they also did here by until the last time. Uh, uh, Zahir and Ishmael. I don't know how we always end up being supporting me at a, a crucial point in my uh, mission and endeavor. But shout out to them for downloading the thing and we can't wait to see it. Um, so Fagan Miller, Blast Coaching, this is it. And this is actually one of the segments. I'm going to take you guys through the segments that we have on the podcast, um, like the tip of the week, but we'll get there. So Fagan Miller epitomizes being an agent for change and shows sheer dedication of his life to helping others succeed uh, through being the change. He first found his motivation when, took, when he took control of his under-15 football team at the age of 13. At this age, he kept the team motivated, took over the team selection and training. In high school, Fagan Miller continued to pursue his path for academics and sport. He was involved in all school projects and plays and led the high school senior football team in addition to being amongst the top 10 academics in high school. Although he was only in high school, he had the natural knack for helping others and finding their own drive. And through his passion, he received the prestigious Hilary Chartre Award for the overall achievement at the end of his high school tenure. Skips a line, new paragraph. Fagan attended the University of Western Cape where he received a Bachelor of Arts degree, majoring in psychology and language and communication. Throughout his tertiary education tenure, he pursued his footballing dream of being a full-time professional footballer. Fagan always held his academics in high accord, even as he worked a part-time job in addition to playing semi-professional football in order to pay his studies with the income he received. He, he managed to captain the University of Sp University Sports South Africa national team in 2010, receiving university full colors and receiving a bursary for his final year. In 2013, he sadly lost his mother to cancer. However, Fagan signed his first full-time professional contract for Santos in the national first division. He excelled during the games he played, but was plagued by injuries and inconsistencies through this experiences, through his experiences. In his footballing career, he worked with various managers and developed close relationships with teammates due to his interpersonal skills. Fagan continued pursuing his studies and completed a postgraduate in education honors. This allowed him to help a number of players develop and set a vision and goals for their lives after football in order to motivate them to pursue their dreams. In 2016, Fagan started his teaching career. Far more than an educator did, he was able to make the aspirations of others a reality through the personal profiling, careful planning, training and holistic growth. As an educator, he worked with whole student population to identify potential problems and work out solutions through sports and art platforms. Fagan was able to tackle the issues of poor academic performance, social troubles, domestic ish violence and other issues facing high school students. His motto known by all who encountered it echoed by them, be the change you want to see in others. 
During his time as an educator, he established a school media footprint through his social media platforms for the learners to express their pride in education and the school. He started his life coaching during his teaching career, where he often found himself counseling learners, colleagues, friends, relatives, and football teams. He helps set goals and action plans and has since successfully applied and found funding for more than 50 students into university and mentored two football clubs to multiple achievements individually and holistically. As a business, life academic and sports coach, Fagan focuses on his individual holistic growth and legacy building. He is skilled and equipped in spheres through his life experiences and multiple academic achievements. Fagan now finds himself working with individuals, clubs and businesses as well as coaching other coaches and ultimately helping thousands of individuals worldwide with the message of hope and action. Fagan with the mentorship helps individuals develop personally by reaching beyond their thinking, their scope of thinking. His background in these fields allows him to provide structured questions to help organize an identity of your individual thoughts. He's a critical thinker and helping others to set tangible goals. Mostly, Fagan enjoys being part of other people's lives, seeing them succeed, and providing a constructive feedback to ensure they never stop pursuing their dreams. As the head coach of BLASK, he has the ability to enhance the, the game of business life and academic and sports coaching. He helps create a timeline for everybody and form lists so that they can achieve their goals. May Buru. Are you then, Monsignor? Yay! Ik het moest lang laatst, hoe lang laatst gelies? Yo! Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, actually written half by me. Um, yeah, so you actually have to find that, yo, it took very long to write this. Um, but that was written in deciding, no, 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 I'm done at school 2020. And let's pursue this um, business of life coaching. But it was always teaching because the coaching business is still teaching. So... Let's start at the start. Very important. I don't think in the bio, which I always mention, is my story of I'm from the dusty streets of Hanover Park. Um, number three, I don't know, I wonder is Hanover Park now until in the most dangerous places in the world. They used to be number three. Yeah, you must just check out there first because it's very important. I say that because I always tell the kids, like, I taught you Mitchell's plane, so we'll get there, that obviously if you were a more dangerous place than I grew up, then you can say, you come from a dangerous place. So I know Hanover Park was number three on a time. So yeah, that was the Mitchell's playing kids. Hanover Park, both Mars living in Hanover Park. One fifth, I can't give out the whole address vibe. But in Kariba Off, that is by the Butts. Uh, for those who don't know what the Butts is, that's the baths, aka the swimming pools. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how Butts is spelled. And we definitely know the Butts. Um, I have to confess, I do have lots of days at the butts under my belt. I was actually born in a Hanover Park Clinic, aka baby born in a taxi. Uh-uh, not baby born in a taxi, don't worry. And uh, and all these like deep in this, he's definitely going to find out this means it is one of the most dangerous places in the world, the HP. And in the HP, I built the first start of the dream. So we're going to take you through all the things of the dream, and that's the tip of the week. Building the dream. Pauses for dramatic effect. Why do you build the dream? You've got to write it down. So every week you're going to see some books in front of me, lots of books, lots of books. These All these books have the dreams in them. All the dreams that Fagan wrote down. So this one was grade one. Grade one in... Uh, End of a park, yeah. Well, I think my parents would got divorced early, but you know, I can't remember now. Anyway, living in I think it was six, but yeah. So end of a park, grade one, Balthorn Primary. Shout out to everybody at Balthorn. I don't remember anybody from Balthorn Primary from grade one till grade three. Amazing. Um, so yeah, I built this book with all my uh, soccer pictures in uh, I supported Liverpool because everybody in the house in Hanover Park supported United which was I was just I just got the head came in the anti everybody like I'm gonna try to enhance everybody's competition here by just supporting somebody else ended up supporting Liverpool actually as yeah winners 1994 Coca-Cola Cup manager Roy Evans and here on the cover is also the signature of Ricardo, number five. 
who played for Portugal. So we'll get to that also because I met Xavi and I met Raul. But some people don't believe me because they were seven, I think they were uh, what the Meridian Cup. I met them at the Meridian Cup. They were 19 years old. I was 12. And I took this book to the stadium and they took it in the cloakroom and boom, signatures galore. Anyway, this book is full of Liverpool pictures. And now that they're also one of the kids that I'm playing with, uh, one of the play, one of the kids, one of the one of the youngsters that I'm playing with. This was the conversation. I digress back to the book now. My boy, do you have a diary? What is a diary? This is the first. Like you, you're 20 years old, no? You don't have a diary, and this is probably a lot of people out there thinking maybe why. And yeah, I have a diary. Yeah, I actually have two 2021 diaries. That was the area of the knowledge building. And I always love to have a pen and a paper down. It's amazing how we have lost that skill. Extra tip of the week, the yellow free 99 tonight. I'm alone here. After tonight, it's always going to be people with me here. And uh, I'm going to have to share all the, the energy with them. And you're not going to hear a lot of my stories because we're going to hear a lot of theirs. But we'll share interlude into that. So I'll give as much as I can this evening. And then we'll blow it up the next time. So yeah, this boy says, I don't know what's a diary. Anyway, my boy, he's actually at university or so. Get a diary because all the days of the week is in there and it's important. And then I say, what are your goals? Boom, no goals. Now, ladies and gentlemen, most people, and this is in inverted commas, most people don't set goals and they hit the target every time. And Carnegie. Now, I'm also going to hit you with lots of you know, uh, it's not even profound wisdom. The kids put this on their profiles uh, and they don't actually love out what they put there. So they don't set goals. And what are the goals? Write the shit down. Like you, you have to write the shit down. I don't think I can be too profane on here, even though uh, I have to actually warn my guests when they come because I think I'm going to have a bit of younger folk. And I, uh, like not younger folk, I think the teen tuning in. And also to control the math, we need to say the F word, then say it. Here's a, um, are we gonna, I'm not going to call it fun fact um, because nowhere all says fun fact. So I need to call it something else. Great fact. The word fuck. Like, let's go 99% of you don't know what you're saying. So the word fuck is an acronym. So the word fuck was used in like ancient times, like eh, ancient buzz. You had to hang this thing on your door and then you put there fuck. So fuck stands for fornication under consent of the king. Because you had to go to the king and say, hello, look here tonight, me and my wife, they look, please, no disturbance. Then you hang the thing on the door. So then what were you doing? You were, but we had obviously, you know, we can't control anything and now it's universal. Probably a claw men out there when you hear this, you are today years old. Lekka jai. Kawai. So anyway, digressing back to the light, that didn't have a diary and then we digress back to this book. And that's probably how it's going to go this evening. So he didn't have a diary. And then I told him, did you write down your goals? He didn't have any. And he said, is the diary the place where you write down your goals? Yes, it is. Get you a diary out there, people, and write down your goals, please. Even if it's a small one. But we have to start getting this in the mood for all the parents out there. Because if that is the probably the main uh, my audience, besides everybody else that kicks a ball and that throws a ball, um, that's in sport, that's playing for money. I actually put this on my status today that I found out that it's difficult for me to work with for money because the purpose feel too liquor. It was, I got a message today. Oh, you're a, uh, Sorry to disturb you. Oh, um, you according to Google, you are lying. Yo! Huh? So it doesn't say... Okay, no, 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 what do, no, 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 can you check fornication under consent of the king? Where, where, where do I get this fact? I have no idea. Because, like, that's, that, now that's, again, like air for me, like, where do I hear that? Because my thing didn't sound potent. And under the king, it's not just seen it. No, fornication under consent of the, of and the, you won't count, you won't put in a, in an acronym, because the of is an article, I mean, the is an article, and of, Come on, Nental, I, I teach English, man. You see Nental calling me out here. And we all know what fornication means. So I need to know where did I get this fact from. So that's it. Ooh, I come at. Fornication under consent of, of king. Maybe, maybe Fagan making up his own facts here. 
Come on, etymology. Google if you can hear me. You know, chat GPT is throwing you out already. Maybe get me on, yeah? Yes, man. So, I did something. Potent. But it do sound like potent. You hang it on your door. It even sound class. You hang that thing on your door with F-U-C-K and then they know, yeah, this man is busy. It's also a bit uh, intimate. So, yeah, I think maybe everybody, if you can make that sign or so at home, <laughs> then they know what you're talking about. Nantel, so we must decipher that fact. Thanks, Nantel. Very important, eh? If you think I am lying, please shout out, shout out Google, chat GPT me. That's very important, eh? That is very, very important that you just did that. I get this a lot. Like, because, um, like, obviously, like, being a reader and so forth, so, I'm, like, you also know when we talk, I'll be rattling off this brother's name or maybe uh. this or that. And it's in pe I think people get, like, you know, there is one talking, there is one talking. And then I go, like, Google the thing, like, check it afterwards. I find that people don't have to research or so. You know what I mean? Well, what's the, what's the, what is your version of, of what are they getting wrong? Let me put it that way. Like, if you're going to do it, like, you can't just search it one time. Like, something like that. Like, like we did now. So, research, you boom, you search the, the yeah, first way get... and then another way. Today, I found out, that, like, somebody, obviously the younger generation, looking for a picture of a flower. So, he types it in Google flower, but he's actually looking for a drawing of a flower. Okay, there's a difference there. Huh? Yeah, so that, that, and so, yeah, it's amazing. We, sometimes it's amazing. Google, your, your um, confirmation bias comes into play. Yo. Like, like I actually, f if you check there, I actually, I actually, you can check there. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Fake. I, that was the one that I chose because I wanted to make sure that this. Okay, okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? 100%. So that confirmation bias also plays a, plays a role. True. Okay. And that's the amazing thing. I This this week was uh, our first week of academics at school. And we'll digress again. First week of academics at school and blah. So we had days of the whole subject. So English whole day. Uh, Afrikaans whole day. And Afrikaans was potent because I could get to use Google Lens. Google, I will send you all my information soon. Um, but just how the lighties could use Google Lens. Like just boop, take a photo, change all the words immediately. Afrikaans, yo. Amazing, like minds were blown, like the children's minds were working with open heads the whole week. So, um, but the good thing is, I had a parent again come with a question, and that's important, man. Like, question, like, ask, especially with education, because it's very you know, it's not a so, tangible thing. So, so, explain to me, sorry to do the to let me give you the let me give you the parents' question. The okay, parents' cool. question, then I, then I've got you, a question for you. Good, the, the, the parents' question was. How is this? I will even ask it, still have it. Would it be better to give it? Um, verbatim is the word. Uh, verbatim is word for word. Let me not uh, paraphrase what the parent has said. Uh, very important to give that information because people understand. Do the parents question what you do there at, at your education facility? Yes. Um, da -da 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 -da. If they're getting used to this during the year, isn't it kind of pointless when you can when you need to sit and write an exam? That's basically. In, and it's good that the question that you get a question like that because um, we all need to upskill ourselves. Like I was very appreciative of something like that, and that's whew, you can't ask for, for 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 parents to question more. And the nice thing that you can you can you can open up and speak and have a nice dialogue with a parent about it. And um, it's not about winning. Like I'm not a win person, mm. ladies and gentlemen. This whole podcast will not be about being right or wrong. If I'm right, then I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Mm. But I prefer to grow. So whether I'm right or wrong, if I'm growing, I'm tight luck. So that's what I'm happy about. So let's stick with that. So, so my answer to her, and the answer is, or well, not the answer, but my solution is that the, we could see in the whole 20 of them that um, the ones that didn't, so five of them didn't use Google at all. They didn't use it at all. They were buzzing. They were fin they were killing the paper. But others were using it. And the ones that were using it, the the look on their faces. I must say, I can see Muslim. I see you and how you look. You're the look and the you can we really use this? And yes, listening to Afrikaans, somebody. Because we can't make people fear something. So the fear for learning, or now we're showing you an easy way to learn. And now I always be so the the, the you have to prepare them and say, you know there will be a point of this won't be there, this won't be there. You have to sit down and you're going to write a formal exam. So my thoughts about education is that 
you have to learn something in a short space of time and they expect you to know 100% of it. So if I can give you the best way to learn the things that you want to learn, then I have a better chance of getting you to that 100% than, than most. Did I answer your question? No, 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 I'm still, I'm still need to answer my uh, Okay, so that was my answer to her and she said no post and she fully understand because I said, um, like the kids that didn't use the thing is like, they're good to go. So now we can see, we could see where's the gaps. And importantly, telling the children that I need you to fail this first test because I need to know what you don't know. That's the most important thing here. I don't need to know what you know. I need to know what you don't know. There are do I bold for you um, besides uh, that way. So that was very important for, for answering that. And then you had something you wanted to add. Yeah, so my question is to you. So somebody that doesn't know um, what uh, chat CPT is. Uh-huh. Was it chat? Chat GPT. GPT, sorry. Okay. Just explain to me what, what it is. So chat GPT is just an AI assistant. So an AI, AI is again an abbreviation for uh, artificial intelligence. So it's not it's artificial intelligence. Um, so yeah, to if you if you don't know what an what an AI assistant is, it's where it assists you with whatever you are building. So AI, uh, ChatGPT is a copy AI assistant. The reason I speak in 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 layman's terms like this is it's important for you to you can literally just type in on Google ChatGPT, click. Log in with your Google thing, free. You type in there, what is this chat GPT? And then chat GPT is going to tell you, ask me a question. Then you literally ask the thing anything. And then the, the again, AI is not dangerous. It's who uses the AI that's dangerous. And that is what we must understand. Like I'm dangerous with the AI. I, I'm dangerous people. I built, I built my, please read, go check out our blast yearbook. I built that yearbook in a week. And that's like, it's a lot of copy, like copy that I would have never been able to put together. But pff, I'm dangerous with that thing because I, because of skills that I have acquired through the time, and this thing just makes it easy. Now it's banned in New York, by the way. Why? 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 Why exactly? Um, because the teachers can't tell. Remember, they okay, they, they have everything digital. So children are no longer writing and ending and stuff. So they can't tell anymore the difference because you can tell the bot. Make it sound like I'm in grade four, for grade five. Oh. Make it simple, so they can't. So they, they. So what makes what makes this different from any other uh, um, AI that that has been out? Of, what 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 is what? After the 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 the, the oh I love it I know the the, the jargon the parameters mm -hmm. are, are are more vast on the internet. So it searches all the eight hundred thousand um, websites out there. So. I mean, built everything. I we rebuilt our old school copy. So like every single policy out there, Jack, I'm a come for me, I get it. Sure. You know what I mean? So my business plan, the Alice, and now when it, again, in the first term, I do the market day with the kids. So we're building their copy. I can't wait to get Zahir in because they're already ready for him, you know, to build their marketing plan. So they can't wait to start this and actually hear from someone and say, yo. And that's only the copy. There's also uh, <laughs> there's also Dal E so D A L they now copy AI also has the image generator so again you type in an image so the one boy comes up um, and nice I've got a student actually that is a bit dyslexic and um, he doesn't he, he's getting into his writing again so so the nice thing is I can use or not I can use we are able to use these tools to the best. So you can speak to the you can speak to the chat GPT, it generates copy for him. If he doesn't see what he's reading properly, you can listen to it. Um so yeah, it's just building a whole other Discord for, for, for students, man, to make them understand and make learning again something that was potent because it wasn't it class when you always knew something potent. So again back to chat GPT, AI assistant. Um if you know how to use it, please check it out. Please, please, please check it out. I don't care if it's banned in schools. I don't care if my kids use it. Um, reason for that is, ladies and gentlemen, you know we oh, are. If we are called Slapstad and the whole of South Africa is still. Did you see this? Five, ten years behind. Look here. Been around since 1966. The year my mom was born. Shout out there to the 66ers. Um, look here. Lang kalaliyal. Vakom os. Chatbots. Simple. And ladies and gentlemen, use these things, man. Like the your job is weg. 
especially as it's coming on late man like your job is gone you come here and the nice thing is like just one parent so just upskilling one parent showing a little bit of this like your like that feeling <laughs> that's when your parents like yo as he did with the email boom ask the thing for email it would be nice to and i will no no not i will drop a chat gpt session but i'll get the the, the techies here with me because i can't take i like to have the, the techies here but i'll have a techie with an e and i'll have a techie with an a the techie people but the techie people was let's go check out our website blast what's it blast dot education you listen to him until it dot co dot zeta uh i think adti you guys got it that's zero zero there you bloody fools oh, i was like oh guys you gotta move with the you know to oh to melo and Trube. shout out to you brother taking us into the the new uh, the new so we've got blasted education because that's that's you that zeta obviously affirms that you're from south africa it says whatever company it says co company south africa poof we know where you are and then dot com obviously we had the dot com revolution which was which global so it gives you that global footprint but now we are in the the world of seos so search engine optimization how quickly is someone going to find you if you're looking for education you type in education it's going to find me quicker than everybody else even if you have education in your name because my thing is dot education and you can dot anything nowadays like literally dot anything you can dot if you can dot you can dot anything you can dot anything people are selling dot eth web domains for thousands and thousands because they know when the when we come later when it hits the fan when we move to web 3 then all the dot eth things are stolen already like you can check how much they sold um nike dot eth for um how do you sell a domain name for like millions because somebody bought it before the time and they knew when you come to web 3 you're gonna have to buy it from me so I'm in the dot education space, um, blast dot education. Check it out. And again, just like racing back to Chat GPT, we'll have definitely a podcast with the real people, with the, the peeps on that use it. I mean, <laughs> Chad was just like when Tumelo showed him the first time. A friend of ours definitely can have Chad. Yeah, he was like, I built probably two businesses that night just by going, and you can't sleep. So please, ladies and gentlemen, please, 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 whatever you need. Um, Check it out. Please check it out. Check it out. I can't wait to actually in, in, empower my parents of the, the Blast Academica, which I'll also speak about because I didn't mention that actually in my bio. That bio is unindated because I don't speak about the year we finished that Blast last year. So we run an Academica, but we'll speak about that. We'll get there. We will still have this book. I digress again, if I may. And then I made this. And then why is this book important? Because I chased that football dream like it was nobody's business. Yo, ich. Like I only signed at Santos at 27. Yeah, a lot of ups and downs. We'll speak about a lot. Of, I have one of my segments we'll speak about uh, is uh, the anecdotes from the field. But I don't want to speak about it now. We'll get there. Because the anecdotes from the field is deep. I know all the sportsmen out there, you felt it, the ups and downs, the celebrating to highs and just going to lower lows immediately. And I'm not talking injuries. I'm talking realization of this is what happens in sport like people in sport will do you over for themselves and the worst thing about sport and most sports is there is an an ideal so there's a result and if you chase that result i've seen and we've seen at the top of the game that it doesn't really work out that way and it doesn't really sustain whoever plays for the result i'd rather go for the building Building, 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 like your, your, your Barcelona is that sustainability model. It's beautiful to see. And then this goes on to have my World Cup pictures. Uh, England, I supported. Yeah, Rasharat Gav, Kevin Delcomi, you know, I must have confessed, I did have an England time I supported. But I ended up supporting the Dutch. I'm a Dutch supporter. World Cup, shout out to the Dutch. Virgil, big Virgil fan. Um, big Liverpool fan, obviously. So, like the way he changed defending, I think he's, but I don't work now. You gotta get involved now. I think the 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 young, new young choppers are, are just are just doing the game now. And we'll speak about the prem because that will be probably the one thing I'll touch on. How's this one for a size? This is called Rostel's area in this book. 
So Rastel Wessel, shout out to you. I'm going to get you on, Rastel, and all the crickies. The crickies is all the cricket brasse. You almost can't wait to talk about cricket on you. Plus, I see you, Nantel, is smiling. Nantel, I have two wickets on Newlands. Uh, what can you now say? Two wickets on Newlands. And we'll speak about that on that day with the cricky coming left arm over the wicket. Nay, right arm around the wicket. Two wickets. Papa, Newlands. Anyway, this was Rostel's area and it has United pictures in. Now, I must eat into United. But it had some of my five United players in here. I don't know why I have Nicky Patia, here. Uh, but Skulls is here. Roy Keane is here. I don't know why Phil Neville is here. What the heck is Phil Nakes doing here? Nah, I fall next to pop. Nental? Football? No football? No team? Like, no, like, you just say the team's name just because you want to irritate someone, maybe? Nope. I have no... Uh, no football? I, like I like the sport itself. Okay. But I just couldn't get myself to... Beautiful, be, man. Be I, I think that's so it. beautiful because it would be my neutral, man. Mm. I love neutral. Like, it's like there's the whole thing with, with uh, Messi and... and, and uh, yes. For me, both of them are brilliant. Yeah. I can enjoy I, both of them, man. I it's love like it. It's actually to... Do not have that, that bias. Yes, I love it. I love it. Ooh, my, my man, you're in a, you're in a good space. Mm, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, the game itself. Look, I'm, I'm deaf so opinionated about the game. I didn't play the game. So, you know, we must want to come with it. And it's, it just comes with the territory. Like people would say uh, ex-footballers shouldn't become coaches or not shouldn't, but not a lot of ex-footballers become good coaches. But I believe ex-footballers should become coaches. And I'm talking about ex-professional footballers. Been here. Yes, because of the taste of the game. Like there's just something different. Like I can say I I didn't the dream was one PSL cap. And I think that's why my dream was too low. Also, like it was one PSL cap. I kept saying it. So like I had to say, like, I'm gonna pay 10 years there. Anyway, just played four, I would say three consecutive years in the NFD. And that just flying up and down, training every day, twice a day. Was that was most loving the dream, most man. So and it wasn't for anybody, because you could see the ones who, who like my first season. I was blessed. I had Nasif Morris, uh, Ricardo Schiapos, Brian and Yango. He's at Sundowns now, um, starting centre back. You know, so these are and there was a lot of other players. I mean, <laughs> there was a lot. It was a very very good team. But those were the three centre backs, and you were with fourth choice. And just learning from everybody was like yo. Then you know Nasif is there. I don't know what time he's there because he's just there before everybody. And he's already, when we come to the gym, then he walk out of the gym. And he don't smack for your idle chit chat still. He is, it's just, it's Jorop, man, bro. It's Jorop of Nux. Uh, and, and it's just, you have to keep that acumen, man. And we can't keep that acumen. That's why I always, yeah, I have so much respect for, for how he held himself in that accord. And it wasn't because of anything. Like if you sliding and tackling Messi and Ronaldo and all the means, so then I, man. You sometimes you'd, I would, you, I would definitely feel the same. I don't even smile to sit in a cloak room with you if you were trailers. Yes, yes. I, trailers must feel eh. There was one day that chased the trailers away in the warm up. How's that, Nental? You come to come play with the team. They say in the warm up, uh, I'm sorry, young man, you can leave. And then the book goes on, ladies and gentlemen. And then I have your team sheet. And then you know what this book did? Force, force, force for the football. Ended up at Santos. Um, yeah, in that season, we'll get there. And then in 2018, shout out to Samih McGlory. Definitely have him and his team on you. Definitely have Rastum Simmons on you. And the, and the brothers from Sim Tours. Um, 2018, shout out to them. Offered uh, to me to come coach the under 18 boys to England. Uh, Nantel, been abroad? Um, uh, America and Dubai. Yeah, I don't show off. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, now we're not going to go into Nantles American Anamabia, times. Anamabia. Anamabia, just here over. And to everybody that says, uh, I've been overseas, Robin Island, don't count. So, very important, ladies and gentlemen, I went to go watch a United game on the Tuesday, the 2nd of October 2018 versus Valencia. Potent game, my bro. Yo, that was the day I knew. I know I will never be and would never have been a professional footballer. Yo, 85,000 people on a Wednesday, on a Tuesday night in Old Trafford, walking down the roads, Gepak, the Spanish Armada shouting, seeing that Valencia, 
buying a couple of scarves, houses all painted in Old Trafford vibes, plus I'm a Liverpool sweater underlying, you know, just for the Skopti Nikar. But yo, in awe of just football, and that that's the dream. Like me and Kim always uh, are going at it. She's, uh, I don't think Kim ever even a destination. She's like, let's get away from everybody. Um, but I want to be in England. I want to go to games all the time. I just want, um, but the dream is always like taking 10, when my son turns 10, it's about six years time, move to Spain. And then I'll force him into La Masia. But yeah, I think just there's something about the, the UK that just, ooh, it just sat with me so beautifully. Ah, whew. the smell of football all day in the air, grass, boots, yeah. I need to get there. I need to get to the UK. So I will build a blast in the UK um, on another club. But again, this game in United was started in this book uh, and kept on playing in this book through primary school, kept on putting pictures in this book. High school, you don't want to show your brush, you have this book. Um, the brush that knew I had this book always to make guy of me because of this book. Still you to put pictures in this book. I still have it till today, people. My wife don't want to believe me. My handwriting was so neat back in the day. You yeah, still have, ooh, this World Cup changed my life. 1998 World Cup, Bofana, Bofana, France, underdog. Um, and that's when I think, that's when that, that, that movement came in my shift. Like, you don't need to be the best player, bro. You're not, ex you, you're not actually, you, you don't have that. There was just that, because um, during the, the junior days, there were some potent players. Rowan Solomons, Sharad, Soli, Nai, Soli, Top Gun. Um, I think Soli maybe faded, maybe 20. 21 uh, and just maybe a wrong move yeah sorry we'll talk about that move i think it was that move yeah to to the team this side of the world uh, but your water player that we played in uh craig alexander craig alexander is the captain of the i, I don't know if it's, i'm gonna say the i felt lions but it's one of the cricket teams i think it's the titans anyway i'm sorry for getting that wrong craig um we'd love to have you on here as well craig played with me under 17 for Stramantain, potent footballer. Ah, oh, when he had to choose between that and cricket, ended up choosing cricket. But I mean, amongst players that I felt was like, whew, made the board team uh, once or twice under 15, under 17. I think my year was just eh, man. Like, all to, out to 1986, um, Cape Town, massive year, massive talent pool of 1986s. I think I was maybe there in pool B, C, D, 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 D. Yeah, now we, I remember going to the school trials. I went to the first one, the second one, the third one, fourth one, gone. Next one, we go with Rowan. So it was myself, Rowan Solomons, Robin Johannes. Oh, uh, again, I must shout out to Robin Johannes. You're Robin. I would love to have you on here. Robin is my, that's my role model. That's number one. That is the professionals, professional, Mr. Professional, professional, professional. Uh, from that age already, went through all the trials. I mean, Robbie went with us through all the trials, but there was the last trial. Yeah, just the yellow one, no copa ticket. Check, yeah, who's this? Oh, so Lance Davids. Yo, and Lance Davids, when I saw him, and I was like, yo, freaking, you just play quiet school against all the players. You're not actually a very good footballer. Decent. But they grant you. They grant. They will pass to you. Because you talk on the field, always guiding, help, chirp. You can, you can, you can do things. You can, you can do things. You, you, within you, you can do things. When you try your own things, you get rid of all of the nonsense. Uh, but you can do things. And uh, there was no dream other than just being a footballer because of this um, book. So again, I, I sh should have had me in my life to say, if I can need a book like this, and now with my kids... They know it's the book, the, the, the one hobby, and the book where you become the entrepreneur of your life. And I say my kids, again, we're going to have to, we're going to get this distorted also a lot on the podcast. When I say my kids, I mean my school kids. I'll mention my children's names. That's Emily and Alex, because, yeah, my ki uh, that's all my children. Boom, let's break away. So, segment. How's that, Nantel? Segment. Um, Book or documentary review? 
I love to read. Uh, don't even mind reading on camera. <coughs> you should check out our Blast Academic Hub on Insta. We'll pop everything out there. Um, and scroll right down. And Nantel, you must scroll right down. You know what I used to do when we started? We were just had four kids. There was There's a book called The Purpose Driven Living. It has 40 days to purpose. And I used to read one day on Instagram live. I was even shocked myself. So, um, yeah, nah, that was good. This evening... We are reviewing uh, Raising Positive Kids in a Negative World by Zig Ziglar, 1985. This book has changed how I have been parenting. Remember when you used to do that? This was the... Not nice. Definitely doing it. Yo, yo. Oh, you know. So if we're fornication, check it out. Oh, oh, oh. Cheddo. Uh, here we go. Great fact. I don't know who's the truth. Your great fact. Um, so it also never generates the same thing for different persons. If you ask it to write an essay about something, someone else that's won't get the same uh, essay. If they say, Oh, there's someone talking about chat GPT. Oh, shout out. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. Isn't the name still? Truth and what's the other one? Goes, uh... Truth. It's Shadows there. And then Rukaya Sadan is one of my kids' parents. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks a million for tuning in. Subscribe. Send it out there. You are going to snip this thing. I definitely. Uh, yeah, great. So, that's where we are. So, the book we are reviewing this evening. I must actually keep the time because I'm going to keep the time because I'm going to keep the time. Again, uh, uh, Zig Ziglar, 1985, has changed how I've been parenting over the last uh, six months, has changed how I've been teaching, how I've seen teaching again. Yo, like the way I've seen teaching just changes all the time. And again, this is we're talking about raising positive kids. Now, this has made me see more of the parents. That's what this book has done. Now, I am seeing, like, a, like this book, I, I everything that I've done, I've studied psychology stuff um the, a lot of the children stuff have stood out to me and everything i read i implement on, in, on the children not implement on them as i like guinea pigs but uh, implement with them with better preposition now this book ooh, and you know zig ziglar zig ziglar is father of personal development like a zig it's um dale carnegie it's uh not, uh, not Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn even come after them. It's your Bob Proctor. Those are fathers of personal development. But Dale Carnegie is most top dog because Dale Carnegie, he hired Napoleon Hill to go research all the CEOs and that's how he wrote Thinking Grow Rich and then everybody else gets Thinking Grow Rich and then they become ich. So that's the timeline. It starts with Dale, yeah. Dale, and Dale, you can check, Dale have the quote of um, the setting goals thing. That's Mr. Mr. Carnegie. Shout out to you, sir. You changed the world. Now, how do you not have this bras books and stuff in the school? How do we not even have self-help? Sorry, people, sometimes I'm going to go on a tangent about the school thing because it's very important. Like, like look there, how to win friends and influence people. The, so now they go, ooh, influence people. That sounds dangerous. No, the influence is leadership. Now look where John C. Maxwell gets it. John C. Maxwell says, leadership is influence, nothing more and nothing less. The main important thing he says is how to win friends. How many people struggle to socialize? You just struggle to walk over to someone and say good morning. So, yo, I don't even want to go into that. Can I get into my review now? Because you no, just took no. me on a tangent. Thank you, Nantel. Thank you. And I'm reviewing two segments. So, let's do the... Do, 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 do. Let's do the read segment, and then I'm going to do the segment that I want to discuss. Um, so, yeah. So, this was a... Listen to the name of the chapter. For a child, love is spelt T-I-M-E. Pauses for dramatic effect. Yo, kill you. For a child. Ich. For a child, love is spelt T-I-M-E. Just spend time. So, um, Yana, he shares a song. I'm mad is that, so I'm going to read the song and then I'm going to go back to the other piece. So he shares a song, um, Cat in the Cradle by Harry Chaplin. So what he demonstrates, and as you can hear by the title of the chapter, is <laughs> time. Spend time with the child. We'll call it eat the sandwich. But anyway, here goes the lyrics of the song that he puts in this book. Beautiful. My child arrived just the other day. He came to the world in the usual way. But there was 
There were planes to catch and bills to pay. He learned to walk while I was away. And he was talking, he was talking for I knew it. And as he grew, he'd say, I'm going to be like you, Dad. You know I'm going to be like you. And in the cat's cradle and the silver spoon, little boy blue and the man in the moon, when you're coming home, Dad, I don't know when, but we'll get together then. You know we'll get together. Time again. My son turned 10 just the other day. He said, thanks for the ball, Dad. Come on, let's play. Can you teach me how to throw? I said, not today. I got a lot to do. He said, that's okay. And he walked away, but his smile never dimmed. It said, I'm going to be like him. Yeah, I'm going to be like him. And the, cats, and the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon, little boy blue and the man in the moon. When you're coming home, Dad, I don't know when, but we'll get together then. You know we'll get, we'll have a good time then. Well, he came from college just the other day, so much like a man, I just had to say. Son, I'm proud of you. Can you sit for a while? He shook his head and he said with a smile, Well, I'll, where, what I'd really like, Dad, is to borrow the keys. See you later. Can I have them, please? And the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon, the little boy blue and the man in the moon. When you're coming home, son, I don't know when, but we'll get together then. You know we'll have a good time then. I've long since retired. My son's moved away. I've called him up just the other day. I said, I'd like to see you if you don't mind. He said, I'd love to, Dad, if I can find the time. You see, my new job's a hassle and the kids have the flu. But it's sure nice to talking to you, Dad. It's been nice talking to you. And as I hung up the phone, it occurred to me, I'd, he'd grown up just like me. My boy was just like me. The cats in the cradle and the silver spoon, the little boy blue and the man in the moon. When you're coming home, son, I don't know when, but we'll get together then, Dad. We're going to have a good time then. Go poof. Just a couple of smacks there to the peeps, eh? Yeah, yeah. So, um, your amazing piece of, of reading there. And that's just to give you the, I'm not even going to give you some more because I think he just hit it home with that. So you can imagine what he put into the chapter, love to a child is spelled T-I-M-E. I'm going to give you another one, 399, top of the week. Eat the sandwich. When you're there, whatever you do, eat the sandwich. Chad Leonard, we miss you. That's one of his quotes. Eat the sandwich, people. If you're there with the child, eat the sandwich. Now, ladies and gentlemen, also very, you know it's very to also say, I'm going to make a disclaimer. Disclaimer. The things I say, I also fail at. I am not perfect. I'm a human being. I bleed blood. I am also me. Faking Miller. Because the people always go like, you know, you also have to explain. And through the time we're together, I'll give you also my deep dark background that I said to come out of. Um, but I like to give the, the, the basis of where we are. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen. And now we go into what it took to become a success. So listen to this and tell me if these are some of the qualities that um, it takes to get a success. Honesty, character, integrity, hardworking, positive mental attitude, enthusiastic, faith, loving, dependent, committed, sense of humor, persistent, compassionate, loyalty, responsible, self-esteem, caring, good finder, friendly, goal-orientated, personal, wisdom, intelligent, good listener, organized, imagination, knowledgeable, energetic, and thoughtful, Ladies and gentlemen, you all acquire some of those skills. It's important to, when you find it to always remember that you always had it. And that is what all this is about. That it was built somehow, sometime, and somewhere. Because there's always that moment. I mean, uh, who's the, I think it's Mark Twain, the most in, two most important days in your life is the day you were born and the day you find out your purpose. It's the day you find, but I know it's it's not the day you die because I like always posing that it's the day you move and everybody say, and the day you die. How can the day you die be an important day? You didn't dead. This is another thing, like also teaching people. Here's another f um, great fact for you: you can't win because nobody dies the best. So like you can't win. So leave the winning and losing thing. Just focus on growing. So. We got past the Dusty Streets of Hanover Park. This book got me out of there. Then moved to Stramontane. Stramontane Primary played there. Great people in Stramontane. Great community. Tight knit. Um, Musenberg East, as said, um, 
not wanting to be part of Mitchell's plane, you know, all the stigmas attached to the village. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, the 393 always will be with me. It is, it is the, the 3 and that's my, um, that was my emblem, Nantel. I had a, a, a label called Imperative Sounds, and that was it. Can you see the 3 and the 9 and the 3? Whoa, bro, I have a couple of t-shirts out there. Shout out to all the 393 boys. I can't have him on here. Ooh, you know. Okay, I'm going to have his on. Now, this is like the hundreds of them shouting, yeah. They're like crazy now. There's a lot of them. And it's just this group of people from Stramontaine. They just love the area, you know? They stay empowered, they grow in the area. Um, I love seeing people grow that I've been friends with and um, just people that you've walked past in the community for a long time. So shout out to Stramontaine. I would really love to come back and build something on the field next to the high school. Um, so just shout out there again, Mrs. Prinsloo, uh, to the principal. Uh, please, uh, that field is available and I can build a big Blask Academy there for our community. Just throwing that out there that we can snip. No, that sounds like a good piece. We can snip and put it there as a promotional tool for looking for that land. Um, so we have moved past that and then we get to, no, then I'm going to give you another anecdote from the football. So ladies and gentlemen, last year, me, I was involved in the purchase of a soccer club. Potent. I've always wanted to buy a club and I was the witness of someone buying a club. So that's a football anecdote, something I have in my artillery. A lot of people would like to say, nah, I, I was part of the club, I was coaching. I was the general manager of a semi-professional football club. <clears throat> ah, feeling a bitchy bass. Like I had that nowhere in my, in my bio. Um, Got to put it in there. It was, um, it was a great experience because that was one of the dreams, standing around the fire with the brush always. Now, nah, Owens, one day we're going to buy our own club and this is what we're going to do. I had that vision long. I had the whole thing planned out. As you know, while you're playing, and simple things like a training kit. Now people's like, what's a training kit? Because you're playing the dusty streets by your local club. So can you what a training kit is? You don't go to training and train in your own clothes. We want to be, have a training kit. Now a simple thing like that, I always had this dream of, right, when my team come, I hang all this stuff up. Everybody put on their stuff. They shower afterwards. I, I, I loved it. It was beautiful. Um, I would say, I, it ended at the end of the season, but the time spent and the lessons learned, you're yeah, invaluable, ladies and gentlemen. And just the knowledge that I forced myself to work. Like immediately when I was, boom, um, right, General manager, that's the title we're going to give you, that we're going to go with that. Not we're going to give you, but we're going to go with that. GM. Come on, check. I embrace the title. I'm Udemy, how to be a general manager of a football club. Boom. I'm doing courses online. I finished like four, five, six master classes. How do this one's a general manager? This one, United, Liverpool, this everything. This is how I'm going to build. The dream is there. Like, it's there. And I build it. Like, I will make, you. I don't care if it's, um, what do you call this, uh, PowerPoint. Yo, sometimes I take presentations to people and they laugh, but it was, they're like, yo, PowerPoint, brah. But now you can see, you know, the effort. I was good at copy. I think I'm very, I'm extremely good at copy. Um, and I give that, I like to write. Um, always making things, like, you see, my books are full. Like, you can just go, like, I just come, not I come, I prepared just to speak about me and everything that this journey is going to be about. But this books I can open anywhere and there will be a gym in there. I'm um, just keeping on writing when you meet people because everybody drops something. Listen to this one. Great fact. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. So somebody that even say that stupid thing, like like literally a brother shouting from the field, say, you this. Like he's, like there's only one way to shut him up. So somehow the other is right. So just give it off. So it was a big one. We're back. Um, I digress. <laughs> Thanks, Nantel, for um, allowing me to, 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 to have the platform. So again, we're back to this book now. I finished the time with the, the GM of the soccer club. And during the time of the GM of the soccer club, I was, this was 2020. So in 2020, I started trading, not trading, I didn't start trading, I met, uh, not met, so my friend Cindy King, I need, I'm going to go back to the soccer club, 
And so I took out the file. So I'm going to show you what's in this file. And, uh, but look here, again, again, I write it down before the time, bro. But this one is echo what I write down. I write down iGlobal Coach FC. Because I always thought like, boom, I'm going to trade. I got a club, coop, check, check. And I had the badge here. And I wanted also the team. My other name for the team was called Angie's Christ. That was my mom's name. So all this was also written down already. Um, need to charge, the, need to charge the teams. Um, need to need to pay the players. Need to get them kitted out. These are it's literally all written down. Bye. Literally all the written down in this year, 2020 March, just as COVID hit, like four or five days later, um, after a massive mindset session with Brian King, um, Cindy King's husband. Like just let's go and. I'll show you that this business that I'm running now was also written down in this year in July. And now we digress back to the team. Look at this file, Papa. Because now people go, yeah, general manager, say, that net, the kit was, that is, you just washed the kit. You just wrote out the team sheet. You just did this. No. The, so it was myself, another colleague. But why I explain this is also to add that it was good to allow the coach to coach. And that's what, what I want to emphasize on my journey was when I say that is the coach mustn't deal with like you try, he's going to, he's going to obviously if something doesn't look right, it's, we were a small team and say something, but if the coach can just focus on football and the rest of us who is in a role, just focus on something else. Um, yes, I had a dual role. I was also playing, but it was a, it was a role oof, that I cherish because I had inside info from the players to the coach. Um, and when I say inside info, things that could add value, never to break the team down. Um, these are all the players' cards and clearances from that year. This is to show you that it's also not Mickey Mouse to get things ready. People like to say, nah, it was geluk, it was geluk. You met this bra and this happened and this, and then that, you lucky, man, you just lucky, no. Now, this whole explanation of me giving you the anecdote from the field was the luck thing. What is luck? Um, to quote the great Rulani Mukwena, luck, they say I'm lucky, but luck is being prepared for the opportunity. Klar. So when did that prepare me? And now I take you back to my bio. In my bio, I said, you know, when I was under 15, I became the manager and the coach. I, I, I was 13 years old. I became the manager and the coach of the under 15 team. Our coach left. We didn't want to tell the club. We just trained every week. I took the balls home. I took the kit. I managed the whole team. I still have the certificate. That year at Strandfontein, the soccer club, I won sportsman of the year for the whole club because I managed the whole team. Was the kids picked the Pick the team, put myself on the bench. And that was a class year at Saravantin because Robin Johannes played for us that year. Like just one year he was in the books. So uh, Saravantin must get so uh, uh, a thousand rand there from FIFA for the development. Um, <laughs> you know, our clubs fight there for that hell. There. Everybody want to say somebody was involved. Just leave the people, man. But now I can I can pay facts that he was at Saravantin. Massive season. And that's where I saw it. Um, I'll stay there. That's where I saw Robin Johannes, professional of professionals, we were 13 years old, 14. He's like, Fagan, where are you going to? Friday night. No, you can home. Sleep by me. I'm like, yeah, but it's, it's 7 o'clock. He's like, no, we're playing tomorrow. So we go sleep, 8 o'clock. Like, huh? That time man is buzzing. 13, 14, Stramontaine was a, was a beautiful, it's, it's, it's still easy. But, but I mean, 13, 14, that time it's walking up and down the village, 1 o'clock the morning, 13, just... Being a, a child and, you know, a parent that's also like, oh, we know everybody in Stramantin is all right, gaan man, jy met jylle, ach, nie man, wat daar loop. Um, so, yeah, that was, that, that was the time in seeing, like, this bra, if this bra can do it, but Robin was exceptionally good, um, I can definitely do it with the right discipline. That was, was beyond, beyond, beyond important. Um, okay, now we just got another, another one of the students out there listening. Um, and that's important. I have all my students out there listening. I teach now at a private institution, which myself and my wife uh, established uh, after being in the mainstream system for together 15 years, uh, 
my my V five and herself ten, but then transitioning after high school was beautiful. Transitioning to university was even better. Now university, I encountered a place called Perth. Now to all the Perth Ricans out there, it's a very uh, a somber topic. You know we all failed one year because of the things we done at university. So Puerto Rico, you would find outside the CAF, um, the, the D outside the CAF is called the DEL, that was named by Mr. Jules, uh, Julian Mo Cleofas. I just got to throw all the brothers out there. Um, around the table on the desk around there was the likes of Chad Simon, um, Julian Cleofas, uh, Carl Isaacs, Mr. Nicholas Manuel himself, Steg Beck, um, Hayden Manuel, Hexi, uh, Laura, Carl Lewis, uh, just a bunch of guys, uh, Charles Krieger, you know, and uh, a lot of us failed hopelessly uh, because of playing football all the time on the Dell, obviously a lot of females, and university, school doesn't prepare you for that, my kids, a best time of my life, my word, I loved high school, I was a clown, um, that's where I met, saw DJ Madfingers in his I was a b-boy and all those things, but university, my word. I, I think the freedom was crazy. Um, I didn't know I was going to go. I went with a friend of mine. <laughs> I'll go with three brothers of mine, two U-dubs. They're going to go fetch their remarks for the entry level test, entry test. None of them, no, I think one, who got in? Two of them get in. Ombra don't get in. The lady asked me, what are you doing with your life? I said, I just came now from Tux. Um, I was playing soccer there. Here's my matric results. She said, oh, it doesn't look too bad. You had straight C's, me bro. You're bad. Oh, we'll talk about my matric. Um, how I prepared for the exam again. You're very arrogant. Failed. Failed at the thing that I had. But anyway, I got new dubs. Straight C's. Lady just said, you must find, you must sign a conditional exemption. And when you get your, your degree, you must write biology over on higher grade. Yeah, it's another thing that happened. I was sitting at the age of 26, writing with a lot of lightis, bio, higher grade. Um, and that was it. Into UW's first year, come <laughs> your orientation. Yo, it's just bad. You know, just walking around all the time. You're supposed to walk in a group. Me and my friends getting together. Ah, we're gonna, I'm going to meet you by Condom Square. Huh? Condom Square. You know, I love saying that to kids in high school. You know, I say, there's a place at UW's called Condom Square. <laughs> I'm a lach. Why are you laughing? It's like a little Tokai. It's there for you. It's part of the whole experience. Have you never watched a college university thing? Have you never watched a movie about university? It's exactly like that. Come on, people. Oh, the university experience was beautiful. So, yeah, I was all the time meeting other people, doing the wrong things. Uh, not doing the wrong things. I was a smoker. So, yeah, still have. Uh, so, smoking... Just staying away from everybody was the worst thing. And then finding out, oh, you must make your own timetable. Oh, you must make your own timetable? What is that? The school must give you a timetable. The school tell you, you must go from now to this class, to that class, to this class, to that class. No. University, they say, these are your subjects. This is the time the stuff take place. You decide if you want to go. It's like a picture of that Sam picture. You do what you want to do. Ech experience. Walk in a lecture hall, walk into the back, 200 people. I just check, ah, oh, this brother's not going to know if I walk out. Walk out. Stupid. There's a tutorial you must go to. If you don't go to the tutorial, you lose marks. My, I can't wait for us to bring my first year results. My first year results, Nantel, I was this, it has saved lives. Like literally, I had people that were like literally Fagan, I'm going to drop out. Um, like life is just, it's not what it used to be. Can't believe I failed. And then I send them my first year results and then they just send me back, yo, are you mad? Ifs and Gs. So I had 12 modules. I passed one. Um, mom devastated, um, but she didn't know about it only until the next year. I lied all the time, said I didn't get my results the whole year. And then the next year I just registered myself. I didn't buy my Christmas clothes. That made them suspicious. Because I had to keep that Christmas clothes money and the soccer money to register myself. Then when I was registered, go back home. Mommy, I felt hopelessly lost here, but I registered myself. I said, you must go work. Mommy, not going to call me a dropout. 
kant, 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 vijgen mylle, trap out, don't sound right, vijgen mylle, return leg, sound, pouten, ok, do it, you just fending for yourself, plus, I took out a 15,000 rand Epsilon loan, not a student loan, they don't tell you the student loan, you pay back, boy, I fail, they've said, hey, he failed, he must pay back, yo, worst kind, so, uh, yeah, second year was crazy, but there was still some money there in the loan. Uh, I like to tell Kim, and I'm, uh, the first episode was going to be myself and Kim, and then I flipped it around because she got a bit uh, sick two days ago, and then we just built this new this new hour. Um, but I always tell Kim I uh, most of the time sue her with the money that I had for my loan. So I kind of bought Kim on credit. Uh, it's for, for my claims to fame. Uh, obviously, that's that's... That's a potent one, yeah. No, uh, sorry, Kim, man. Unfortunately, took you to places that you never were with my loan gel. I was bowling, Papa. But yo, university. And that's what it was. The money I had. Then I got this first money. Ooh, yeah. No. I went, uh, 2007, I went to Club Galaxy from March till about this November, every Thursday. Like, I don't think I missed a Thursday. I think me and my bra. Chisel and Hans, I'm going to have you out. He is the football dissector. I will have him on here. That man, I think me and he made it like a mission to go every Thursday. And people were just like, remember we went like nights where we had no money. Like we just said, okay, we're going to go before 11. We're going to get those people there. It was like, a, it's a more status and symbol. And oh, it is so crazy when I look back now and I look at the, my, the kids in front of me and even when I taught at Cedar High School, like I, there I used to have like 42. My last class was 49 kids all repeating grade 11. Beautiful kids. Like now I have 20 kids in front of me, but I look at them and then <laughs> I look at them and I just like, yo, amazing how I'm trying to get them or steer them away from what is going to, what is going to unfold. And, um, yeah, I was just like worst kind. And you get crazy experiences, but I think my network has taught me good things. And now I have good things to say to the kids because I can see it before the time happening. Um, and that's the profiling thing, seeing them and going like, okay, you going through uh, wanting a girlfriend stage. Let me just call you back and say you are only this age, relax, relax. Or you are going through not wanting to be around people. So me, I don't do labels very well. Um, when I say I don't do labels very well with the kids also, so we even fight over labels. And they, the, the, the good, the mad thing is, I'm going to say the mad thing, the crazy thing is the kids don't fight for the label. Uh, of, of not if they fight for the label. I've had an argument over a label. Like, no, I am ADD. Like, I am this. I am this thing. And I'm like, yeah, but it just can we, can we not say it? Like, we don't do the labels. Can we try not to do it? Can we just go, I'm normal. And then they have this. And I think it's that also. Um, and yes, we all, again, I'm definitely going to make a disclaimer to say, I, Fagan Miller, also get things wrong. I am not perfect. Boop, 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 boop. Get a lot of things wrong. That's why I say, like, this book has changed my parenting. Like, I read that time thing out to you um, because I'm like, eh, now about time. Like, I'm like, as, as I feel, ooh, I need to spend more time with this man. I, I need to like, and it's it's silly because you know you 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 are actively spending time, but it's good to feel guilty, <laughs> just to spend more time. Um, so yeah, back at university to all the Puerto Ricans, I would love uh, maybe a young Neil Brophy, Clay, Luki, Ashwin. We can my full the studio. Everybody, maybe get um, Shiham, Terran. Um, I'm just dropping some names here. Maybe there's like six, seven, eight Terrans that came there, but you know who you are. And the people who's out in the Puerto Ricans, it's like that place. And then that's the original people that started first. Then it was afterwards, I was at Varsity for six years. So I went through a lot of generations. I think my favorite generation was my first. And then the other generation was the course with Cruz. Cru Cruz, uh, October, shout out to you. We'd love to get you on here. We know you're teaching at uh, Bergfleet. Uh, so, and you and Zaire know each other. So that's beautiful also, Cruz. Um, so we'll get you guys together. And that generation was potent. There was a guy in that generation, Ashley Ben. He recently had an article in the CEC magazine. I think it's called Culture 
some self culture, everything collective or collective, everything culture. But yeah, he was on Vasti with us and he also just had this other, he created the brand Upper Echelon, Upper Echelon or Upper, Upper Echelon. Yeah, but he was just this, yeah, he was just, the, the, I mean, that, that year, that generation was just, and again, that's the year generation. They were just a, a breed of, I can see it now also, like they have this drive. Uh, the, um, Ashley Ben is an inter, I just see, when I see that word, inter, inter-industrial, intergalactic, and I say intergalactic, but it's, it's in the industry of design and um, the culture, so painting. He, in the article, they speak about him hyping up um, shelf life to where it became like really big and then he branched off. He is the, one of the lead designers for Adidas, but not Adidas per se, they obviously contract his company. His studios is called, and now I'm gonna get it wrong, but shout out to you, Ashley, I'm, now I'm getting a lot of things wrong but I showed all my children your bio. I love showing the children, the people that I know, especially the people from Varsity and school that's doing well. I think we don't do that enough to our children. That's why we don't have role models. Um, yeah, like who is your role model? And that's why I came on tonight to go like, yo, is that man really gonna talk about the hour about himself? And then I go, yeah, because like I, as another day it was on my status, which was a bit, I don't know, <laughs> it can't be anything but, but mine. Um, so my status said, I wish I was a Cape Town football role model, but I don't have a golf seven. And it, it was, I put that there, but it was in conversation with one of the other footballers, not taking a poke at anybody that have the golf seven, because that's what most of you have. Um, but we were talking about how we create this culture of something. And then we don't also see how we don't have, like do your own thing. And they must look, so who's the role model? The role model is just a bra next to you. And we don't look like, look to the Europeans. And it's not that you can't afford a Lamborghini because they don't all drive top of the range cars. And yes, they all do, but I mean, it's, think about the, the, the my, my, my saying, and this goes for Fagan Miller is, I would rather take a taxi to my mommy's house than drive my golf. I would rather take, oh, let me just rephrase because this line goes deep. I would rather take a taxi to my own home than drive a Golf 7 to my mom's house. Um, and that's just me. Like I've always pushed for that goal. I don't have a car in my name because I would like the first car in my name to be a BMW 1 Series. Uh, it's written there in one of the books. Um, and those are stupid things. People are like, you, do you really stick to all the stupid goals? Yes, because it works. It brought me here. What you gonna say? Yeah, I ran a club. People like to talk about football. Um, and I don't want to talk about football anymore. It's too, I'm, I'm neutral. I'm, I'm like Nantel. I'm grand at Nantel. I'm glad Nantel didn't say, nah, I'm, I'm united. Oh, and would have been like, oh, I must not smack like that. That's must you know, man. That's just a normal Liverpool United argument. I don't smack for that anymore. I want to talk about the issues around things. You won't see on this podcast, and now I know we're getting to the end, I think, um, is that I'm not going to get on here and have someone here and share their story. Like, hi, how are you? And where were you? And what was your struggles? No. Let's speak about the issue around something. So I'm giving you a bit of background, not be to brag, because it's possible. That's the thing. That's the main thing. It's possible. My favorite things, are, and I say this a lot, and, and again, the people who are a lot around me probably think like, yo, you say the same things all the time, but it needs to be reiterated, and now I think sit on the right platform, because I'm sure they were checking, oh, you need to talk and let other people hear it. Every year, I think I even as I hear say this, I heard someone else say this. Every year we're gonna have the story about the lighty sitting under the street lamp and he passed me trick straight sevens and now he's looking for a bursary. So every year we get that story. I'm looking for every year the success story. I'm not gonna deal with all the problems. Like I'm not gonna, I know when, when we got the Nantel, was like, okay, we nice deal with some of the problems, you know, the, the load shed, the, all the things. The East things, we're gonna attack. And the East times we will have very heated things, but again, we must share also the things that need to be shared. So very important, we're gonna speak about the issues. And where we are now is putting all that together, university studies, leaving university, playing football, as I said, um, in that professional taste, then going to teach, Uyati, five years, Cedar High School. Um, changed my life, can't believe I was a teacher, uh, standing in front of kids, and I think it was the first day of my teaching prac, <clears throat> I did my teaching prac while playing professional football, by the way, 
for all of you. Like some of the boys even tell me, how did you play and study? I'm like, I played pro and I did my teaching prep. Leave training, or three, uh, leave training, 12 o'clock, go to school, whatever. And yes, it did obviously m- hamper my growth in football, but it didn't hamper my growth in something else. So it was a good thing to do with football. Not, I'm playing football and I'm playing fives. Mm, I'm playing football and I, if you're playing football and you're playing fives, the other one is not benefiting the one. The football, if you, whatever you're doing in football must benefit that football. And the fives is not benefiting it. Don't set yourself an illusion. Don't even set the Sunday league illusion. The other thing that you're doing must benefit you off the field. Because there's that two lives we all play as sportsmen. You know, you step over that line, in that ring, all that little things. That you know, we all buy polar bears. Ech, we flip, ba, two people. A lot of us are schizophrenic, but we're good people. That's a potent one-liner. Whoever got that, you can take it for you. Um, I said we're schizophrenic, but we're good people. Our least could have get a... Come on, gentleman, next time. Have that for me. So again, very important, ladies and gentlemen. Now I get to teaching, um, and that we'll speak about more, is that there was a lid. Tip of the week. The first law of leadership is the law of the lid. So you saw that experiment, Patrick Bed David, he did it now, he put it another day on his Instagram where they put the fleas in the jaw. Uh, two days later, they take the lid off, the fleas don't jump higher than the lid. I'll better to explain that to you. So no matter where you are, ladies and gentlemen, in your household, in your business, in your life, you could be that in your friend circle. Someone is setting the lid. Let's hope it is you. Because as John C. Maxwell just explains with the hands, bro, like we say levels, it's lids, papa. You just hit the lid. Like some people hit the lid. Like and if you, if the organization, let's talk about businesses. If the organization's leadership is functioning at a six or oh, let's say a four, and you are someone that functions at a ten, and you have this ideas and this energy, you can't surpass the lid. You can't. That's why they need to get rid of the lid. And this is a leadership thing. This is not a, a, a you thing. You need to decide, like, how do I work with the lid, surpass the lid? And I can't give you a lot of free 99. This is not an open business clause here to show you actually how to open the lid. So just letting you understand that you must actually look at things like, my bro, someone's a lid here. That happened to me, 2020. Like, if you didn't see it in 2020, like, I went poop, friend circle, lid. Um, football lid, um, school lid, nigh. Flip all those lids off. Guess what I did? Mute. You have to break away. Boom. Mute everybody. My status thing is eh, mute. Amal. Only, only if you add, like if you, if you, uh, if I, if I know I'm going to see you often. Like my teammates. I don't even have all of them. But people that I know play a role, they I can see their statuses, as they say. Um, but also WhatsApp and Facebook. Like the status thing, like mute the people. You again, like I'll never ever get Sage. I'll never ever get this line of Sage's favorite um, line, one of my students. Um, Oof, block out the noise of the world that you don't want to hear. Like that girl just rattles it off like that. And that's again, that's Blask. That's what we do for these kids, like... Some of them have defense mechanisms and coping mechanisms that we have installed and that they have grown and that they have they have created within them. Like, oof, it's beautiful to see. Like, you can't come at some of them. I, I can't wait to see how they grow into into, into just better people. Because that's what I, I tried to do at school. You know, I, I created, yo, oh, potent. I mean, I had Nantel at the school. We didn't even know. I'm going to get that photo. I have a photo with you at the school from Cedar. And you came to come visit. Yeah, no, I was here. That's what I told you. DJ Mad Fingers. You DJ. You on the on the on the on the stage. That was the <clears> the, <throat> the one we did for some um, railway company. No? Mm, no? Mm. With, with, um, I was still. Yeah, I think it was twenty. I think it was twenty sixteen when I got to the school. I know. I remember. <laughs> I did that gig for free. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, Nantel. Thanks, Nantel. You know, 
This not got my DJ, but I got uh, I had nasty. Okay, let's go. Let's go into my range of people I had at the school. Uh, so obviously, I had my idol, my favorite uh, Black Noise. Oh, my police, my favorite. Um, Angelo's my favorite. Oh, love, love. Then I meet him. Then he say, he say, what's wrong with this man? I say, you then my, one of my idols. Like I'm meeting like, and he's just there, the mod program. He's the head of the mod program. He's a normal guy. He used to be a b-boy when he was younger. I'm looking at this bro like I'm starstruck. Um, yeah, but we became very, very well. His, his son was very good at football. He still is, Rakim. I don't know. No, he's a very good person. No, I like him. love bully, love. And I'm um, great on the decks. Great on yeah. the decks, world he's class a, on the decks. He's a, he's a Super good DJ, like will keep you bobbing well. whole night. Oh, that one's let now double rocks. Nice boy. Now we're slatting double rocks. Double rocks is here, windmill on the cup. Um, for those who don't know, it's my view. One day I'm a flat here, a flare on the tafel for the people. Um, so the school was potent because of the networking. So varsity first networking. Love. Today I spoke to Nicholas Manuel, Mr. Stegbeck. Love it. Thank you, brother. Woo. Building a good relationship with uh, SU Advantage University so that my kids can have an LMS, an augmented school system. Um, but shout out Nicholas for our conversation and just for the, uh, what, did we, what did we call it? Uh, the proposition you posed to me about it. So brilliant there. And that was the network there. And then the school network produced the people that I met off school, which was like uh, Jerry. Jerry Brand was brilliant, um, youngsters manager. So I had youngster there every year. We were every year part of the school tour. Oh, I see the always part of the school tour. Mutiwari ni. All the year school tour, see this on there. They must know they do different schools every year. Pardon me. Youngster every year by us. Um, had him there a random time also one, twice a year um, for our pride festival and like begging like just to come for him to come walk there or something. And then, you know, he ends up doing a song for the lighties. Um Next up, I had Nadia Nakai there, you know Nadia Nakai, Nadia Nakai Braga, yo, beautiful, my word Howard, oh my word, my Bruce Abrella, yo, beautiful, but she was like, it was like a real diva celebrity, high level South African bodyguards coming in, um, DJ Milkshake was with her, um, and this other brother that was also famous, but I didn't know he was. Plus, I don't know who Nadia Nakai is. I know the song, Braga, 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 Braga. But no, it's not net, no. I know the song, but I, and I see the video, I think, oh, this girl is most tough. This is our Nicki Minaj. So, um, she, the, Zayn Usman phones me. He says, I got your number from Jerry Brand. He says, you can organize something. I got Nadia Nakai with me at the airport. Can I bring her to your school? I say, ah, oh, Nadia Nakai. Google, who's not in the guy? Poop, number one rapper in South Africa. My man, no problem. I'm now here. I'm going to beg the principal for an hour interval. I run to the principal. Mr. Charles, please, must do this to the children. Blow their minds. Pa, man say, fagin, they're going to kill you, but it's all right. I'll give you an hour interval. Tengerik. Pack the speakers up there. Nadia in the guy. Rapping on a school stage. Plus the sound is poor. DJ Moksik say, don't want a DJ. I tell him, my man, you know you started your career. Don't do this to the children. Look at them. Look at them. She's just so, I'm doing it to the kids. Yo, that woman hit that stage like it's nobody's business, man. Like it was potent for the kids, man. Like how can you? Yo, nah, I love what youngster's doing. I, I love what he's doing. He's school tour. You can't. When I was in school, you know, came to my school. Jay, missing you. I'll never forget that when she came to school. Yo, it was in a class. Nice, ma. Nice. Potent, potent, potent. Then I had Nasty C. They phoned me again. So then Usman is like, brah, I'm going to give you a number. Other brah's going to phone you. Another brah phoned me. I don't know who he is. He's like, bro, I got Nasty C. He's just landing. Do you want him to come to your school? I said, what? You must check. You must come. Come to the school, organize everything, stage, pa, pa, pa. They say one thing, no photos with Nasty. I check, yo, that man. Now, this is the thing also of the high top class celebrities. Some would say they're obnoxious, right? But they have a other lifestyle, man. Now, the fame, even sitting here and saying things that I've said, comes with uh, a lot of, Yes, he's right, he's wrong. How can he say that? Um, this is what he do. How can he say that? You always will have someone with something to say. But that man was like, yo, I got into the van with him. 
So you, or the way he's spoken, like you feel also someone of the ear energy. I interviewed Desmond Tutu at university also. I will speak about that one time. Um, so that energy of that, but I, and he just, you know, that chill, like, yo, man, no one's going to take photos of me, man. I I'm Mr. Miller. Thank you, Miller. Don't worry. I run everything here. Don't worry. I got my media team. They're going to bodyguard you. They're going to walk you to the stage. You got everything planned. Obviously, the only person that got the selfie with him is me. Sick. <laughs> anyway, onto the stage. He also complained about the sound. He look at these brass. I give the same cut. Nasty. Remember how you started. Look at the kids. He just say, drop it. And it's the way it goes. Ding dong. Oh. <sighs> yeah, no. Nah. I must. Please. Like, I pray every night so hard for it. Just give me a school, man. Like, just give me a place where I can take all these kids and just empower them, you know, give them life like with your this and that was me i was on school like that and i thought let's create a school or try with people the school that i would have loved fun because what i told the principal when he met me he said you know fagan they see the school as the gangster school in which i was playing and it's not nice because we're an art school we are to save the people we just play is an art place and i said sir i'm gonna change how the people see the school i'm gonna change the media footprint and then we were one of them we were known as the art school the art school in the plane, one of the top art schools. That's how we were changed. And not because of me, because of bringing pride back to the school. Think about this in the Dusty. All of us, everybody, 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 everybody. On the, on the Dusty, I mean on the side of the M5. Unlucky, if you're on that side, even you retreat, you, you might with us, but you must now. Prince George, you don't count. So all the Dusties, all the cave flats, we don't give back to our high schools pauses for dramatic effect all the affluent schools have an old boys club and an old girls club and an old this club and they have an air business and they give back to the school and they give back the new quad because Jacques Callas built a uh, turf by Weinberg but that's his old school that's what Jacques does um, I was at Cedar High School yeah and this is like ugh, like I have a fact about Cedar High School Cedar High School has the only African Champions League winner matriculated from Cedar High School, Wayne Aronsa. He's the most, he's won the most PSL League medals in Cape Town, Wayne Aronsa. He's an ex Cedar High principal. Wayne Aronsa, if you hear me, my man, go back to the school, reach out. I know you do things, you always drop off some balls and things. But yeah, I mean, like, that's just one big name. That's one big name. Um, but I mean, there's a lot of big names of colored guys. Go back to your school, even if you feel a bit silly, like, oh, I was, go back. We need that. That's the role model thing to do. That's called alma mater. That's the word. It's, a, it's your old school. When you leave university, they call you alumni, right? So please, you must belong. Like, that's why I say I went back to Stramantine to do my teaching practice. But the lid, like, there's always lids also in the system. So me building my own thing is also wanting to help. And going back to a school, maybe speaking to a group of teachers, maybe just helping. So ladies and gentlemen, from my side, that's a mouthful. Um, we're in India, we are right here. Fagan Miller, I went off. Um, lots of things to share. And um, next week, I can't wait to share with you who we'll have here. We'll snip a lot of this. You had your tip of the week, you had anecdotes from the field. You had your book documentary review and you had what I call E to I. So ladies and gentlemen, I am done using my effort to impact. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.